Audacious Church, happy Christmas from all the leaders of Audacious Church to everybody who considers our church to be their home, to be your home. It's Christmas Day and so we are going to take a moment today amongst all the blessings of God to pause and to do two things. Firstly, we're going to thank God. We're going to thank him for everything he's done this year. And secondly, we're going to remember in prayer all of those who need him today. To help us, let's start with Psalm 103, verse 3 to 5. It says, bless the Lord, O my soul. Why don't you take a moment just to get your, your Bible out or maybe the Bible app on your device and read along with me. It says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Would you spend a moment with me reflecting on the year behind us and while you're doing that, look out for the blessings of God in your family, your work, your ministry and your relationships. If you keep a journal, why don't you turn that mental list into an actual list? I know that for some of you, just like me, 2023 has had some challenges. You may even struggle to find something right now in reflecting on the year to be grateful to God for. But the great thing about Psalm 103 is that it lists some things that all of us can choose to remember in this moment. There are two in verse three. It says forgiveness. God has forgiven you for your sin and you can thank him for that today health is also in verse three in faith we can declare today that god has healed us and is healing us verse four we can thank god for redemption he has redeemed us through the power of the cross also in verse four number four of this list is his kindness and mercy he has been showing us these precious things all year long. Verse five, we move on to number five on this list, provision. He has satisfied us with good things this year. Also in verse five, number six is renewal. We have been made new in him. That means you can spend some time today thanking God. Secondly, we said we were going to remember those in prayer who need a touch from him. And to help us with that, we're going to go to Philippians chapter 2, verse 1 to 4. It says this, Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any common sharing in the spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete. By being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. And then in verse 3 it says, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, rather in humility, value others above yourselves. Not looking out for your own interests, but each of you to the interests of others. Let's pray for those in our church and those in our communities who need a breakthrough touch from him today. That God would be a healer to someone. That he would be a friend to the lonely, a provider to the destitute, and a father to the vulnerable. As we enjoy ourselves today, as we celebrate together with our friends and family, let's stand with those who don't have what we might relish today. Let's pray that God would be to others what he has faithfully been to us all year long. Heavenly Father, 
We want to pray for anyone in our church and anyone in our communities that needs a touch from you today. God, we pray for those that are lonely, that you would be their friend. We pray for those who are anxious, that you would be their peace. We pray for those who are sad, that you would be their joy. And that, God, those who are vulnerable, you would protect. Those who are in need, you would provide. And that, God, we will see you at work as much today and over these next few days as we have all year long. We thank you for what you've done in us and for us. But we pray with passion and compassion that you would be that for others in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to thank you for your love for God and your love for your city and your commitment to both in 2023. Would you stand with us in faith for even more of that in the year ahead? God bless you, Audacious Church. Have a brilliant day and we will see you on New Year's Eve for a party. God bless you, church. See you soon.